Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to cover a very important second type of question, which is what will be the count of a star, count of one, count of minus one, count of ABC, count of null, and count of department and salary on this table. Okay, so let's start. So as you can see, we have this table. Okay, which is having employee ID, name, department, salary column. Okay, and as you can see, here we have one of the rows having all the null values. Okay. And also the department salary column also having the null values. Okay, so let's understand what will be the output of all these count statements. Okay, so as you know, right? What does count of star do? Count of star returns all the rows of your data. Okay, so it gives the count how of how many records do you have in your table. Okay, so here we have total five rows. You as you can see, right? So don't get confused with this null row. Okay. Just don't think that count of star will not include this row. It will include this row also. Okay, null null doesn't uh, matter in this case. Okay, so it will give you total five rows. Okay, so we will get the five output here. Okay, now let's come to count of one. Okay, so this is the where we get confused actually. We thought okay, what this will do? Will it be something different value other than count of star? So let's understand that. So basically, what does count of one do? Internally is like so. Let's say here we have total five rows. Okay, so what will a circle do? It will assign this whatever value you are passing inside count right. It will assign that value to each row. Okay, and after assigning the value, it will check whether this is null or not. So here obviously one is not null. Then it will count it. Okay, so obviously we have this one five times. So that's why we will get five in our output. Okay. So I hope you are able to get it. Right? Why we will we will get five because it will uh, circle will count this value that you have assigned, right? It will count how many times you have assigned. So we have assigned one one time, then second time, then third time, then fourth time, then fifth time. Okay. So that's why we will get five in our output. Okay. The same concept goes for minus one also. It will assign the minus one value and then it will check whether it is null or not. Then it will count it. So we will get the five output. Okay. The same concept goes for ABC also. Okay, the concept remains same. Okay. Now let's come to the count of null. Okay, what happens in, in case of null? So what will happen in case of null? It will assign null value. Okay, let me just assign it. Okay, and after assigning null value, it will check whether it is null or not. Obviously, it's a null, right? So what it will do? It's a null. Okay. Now. It will not count this. Okay, whenever whatever you are passing inside this count, if it is a null, it will not count it. Okay, so uh, it will be no actually. Okay, just remember that in case of null, so it will not count this. Okay, so that's why you will not get any output here. It will be zero. Okay, just remember this. Okay, now what about count of department? So here department is not a string or some constant value. It's a column name, right? So always remember, whenever you do count of any column name, it will exclude the null values. Okay. So here we have total two null values, right? So it will not count that. We will we will have just this three values, HR, IT, and HR. So the output here will be three. Okay. Now what about this count of salary plus hundred? Okay. So again, salary is a column name, right? So don't get confused with this plus hundred or minus hundred because we have this column name inside this. So the concept here will remain same. So again, it's a count of column name, right? So here we it will not count the null values. So here we, again we will have three output here only, right? Because we have two null values there. So I hope you are able to get get this right. Okay. So now let's go to the database and try to execute the same question there. Okay. So as you can see, I already have this create table statement, insert table statement. Okay. So I will try to put this into my YouTube video description so that you can practice the same. Okay. Now let's execute this. Okay. And see, are are we getting the same output or not that we discussed there? Okay. So as you can see, right, count of star giving me five, count of one giving me five, count of minus giving me five, count of ABC also giving me five, count of null giving me zero. Count of department giving me three and count of salary plus hundred, we are getting three. Okay, so it is the same output that we discussed. Okay, so I hope uh, I was able to explain this concept to you. Okay, and you will be able to answer this question in the in your next interview. Okay, so 
I will be back with some interesting question in my next video. Okay. Till then, goodbye and thank you.